All right, this is the pattern for a set of salad tongs for my laser engraver. This is on Corel Draw. It's my computer. And right here, I have an epilogue. I've got a brand new one. It's 40 watt. My old one was 25, so this one can cut through thicker wood. So I decided to try to make salad tongs. I've seen them before. And so now I want to make my own. I'm making mine a little bit wider than what I've seen. Um, I want a little bit more beefiness to them. Uh, they're a quarter inch thick, and this is one and three quarters. And it's two feet long. Because that's as big as I can fit in there. Okay, so two feet and quarter inch and one and three quarters. Anyway, okay, so I'm going to. I'm going to set up the laser engra engraver, focus it and all that, and I'll show it cutting, and then we'll get into making it. It's actually really simple. All right, we're ready to go. Got to turn on the air. <clears throat> Anyways, so the air, air is blowing down through, there's a little tube poking down. The air blows through that to keep it from catching on fire. So if you see that first inch there, I forgot to turn it on. Anyway, so it's cutting at uh, like 6% speed. It's at 100. Here we go. Keep it going. Just gonna make that pattern. All right, that took two and two minutes and twenty-five seconds. Okay, so here's here's one side, and opposite as the as it breaks out through the other side, the honeycomb structure inside kind of leaves its mark, but uh, that'll sand off. So there's a little bit that didn't get cut right there, but it should just I can just cut it just a little bit. It'll be fine. Before I separate it, I'm just going to sand it. Alright, while the uh, sink is filling up with hot water, I'll get this ready. Um, this is how it was. Same more like this. Nope, it was like this. Okay, so you want the same, same sides up. That way, you know, you match the grain. And if you don't have a laser engraver, I guess you could get a longer piece of wood, cut it right here, and then, you know, just cut grooves in. A lot of people just do these grooves on a table saw. But with a laser engraver, you get this cool black edge, which I kind of like. So, anyway, so that goes there. And so... Make sure you do it the same to both pieces. Alright, so a uh, popsicle stick or a tongue depressor works. Put that there. That's enough water. So there we go. So there's the first one. Almost like this, so the longer piece goes up. Or you could say down, as long as they're both the same. Okay? And then later on they'll get put together and they'll come down like this. Now make sure you kind of pull you know out out on these a little bit. Make sure they aren't you know going in. Well, a little bit, well, a little bit. Just make sure that the last movement was in an outward direction, and that's about the right spacing right there. Okay, and put them in the water and let them soak for at least an hour. Um, longer if you want. If you want to go overnight, it's fine. There we go.
I'll just put a piece of rubber on there to weigh them down and I'll be back all right they've been soaking for a while now I'm going to microwave them the the tip of the normal technique for this is to build a steam chamber and to steam them so uh, this is kind of the cheaters way of doing it but it works plus it's not like it's a massive bend so it's not going to hurt anything I think I like to just do one minute if it's plugged in it'll work alright come on there we go now it'll work one minute Watch it carefully. If it starts smoking or something weird, then stop it. All right. It should be fairly hot. Not super hot, but, you know. Yeah. Still a little bit of liquid there. I mean, but it's still fine. It's just to get most of the moisture out of the wood. Okay. Um, I'll... I'll let them sit like this for a little bit longer, then take them out and the bend should hold its place. Alright, next I'm going to drill a hole for a pivot point to go in there. Um, I put them together so that the bends are facing out, so it's collapsed the opposite way than what it's going to be used. Line them all up. I basically, I cut a gap in this that fits these so they're all lined up. Okay. So these hit here. So if all three of those are hitting, then all three of those should be lined up just right. Zoom in. Basically, you just gotta hit it right in the middle. the other side. Did pretty good. A thing to improve this would be to put a piece of metal across with a hole in the exact right spot so it helps me guide the, the uh, drill bit into the perfect spot every time. Alright, so they're not exactly the, the same length so I'm going to sand them down till they're the same. <laughs> going to round the corners. Uh, um, I also need to sand some chamfers where these hit so it's not just the corner touching. Sanding. Okay, so here it is after putting it together. Just I just used some welding rod, eighth inch. The hole here is just the next step up, just a little bit bigger than an eighth of an inch. Um, 
You could probably squeeze it in an eighth of an inch hole, but I want it to be easy to, you know, to move around. Um, this one's not done yet. Uh, to finish, uh, what well, we would glue in, right now that's just set in there. You glue it in, but only glue it on this one and this one. Don't glue the middle one as well. So glue it in on the sides, but not the middle so it can still rotate. Um, use mineral oil for the finish and just wipe it on really good. You'll have to re redo mineral oil. This is what you use if it's anything that's going to be touching food. So use mineral oil. Um, and here's one that I finished earlier. You can see it's a little bit darker. So the mineral oil will make it slightly darker. So here's a finished one. Okay, a little bit of space up here helps as well. This one didn't have the space, so uh, maybe next time if, if the wood keeps coming in together like that, um, I could change the laser engraver so it cuts a V-cut or I can uh, find a way to bend those out just a little bit as well. Um, anyway, so that's the finished project. It's really easy, simple, um, and just fun to do. So if you look at that, you can kind of see how long the cuts are. You could probably get away with a little bit shorter, but I want them to look really long. Um, anyway, so have fun with that, and we'll see you next time.